Hey guys, Micah Outdoor Living Guy. You've seen this job site, now you're gonna see it from start to finish in beautiful photos of right now. We did drone, we did this so cool pizza oven. I can't wait to show that off and show you what we did to get the pizza oven back here. The things we will do for our pizza and you will see that coming up shortly. A lot of modern clean lines here. We did the board form concrete fire pit into the outdoor living space, three heaters, speakers, this site truly does have it all and you're gonna see it right now, including the outdoor kitchen, board form concrete, pretty cool, with a nice little garden space off to the side. I wanna let you see too, what we went through with the Woo, mess easy. of this job site at the very start. So enjoy it right now and you will see me walking like and falling in the mud right now. Enjoy guys. I'm at a backyard of a project we're doing. I wanted to show it off to you. It is literally pouring down rain. I've, <laughs> I, this is the mess. I didn't bring my boots. I don't know why, but I forgot them. And it's been a fun little time with getting back here. As you can see, we had to go through absolutely solid mud and it was a fun adventure. Anyways, long story short, here's the job. It's gonna be really cool, covered structure fire pit with reflection wall which basically is a glorified fireplace or i should say it's a glorified fire pit that looks like a fireplace and i'll show you that in the design right now we're doing a pizza oven we're doing an outdoor kitchen with board form concrete and then we're doing a seat wall so this will be a whole outdoor living space a uh, really usable space for their family. It's a young family and they're really excited. And I just want to hopefully let you see the design, the finished product, and see what it looks like now and what it's gonna look like when we're all done. All right guys, have a good day. I hope you like this job. Talk to you soon. Here we go. We're lifting the pizza oven up right now. Gonna get the cardboard from underneath or the foam underneath and then put this baby over the house. Here we go. Things we go through for our pizza ovens. Here we go, guys. We're taking this pizza oven, beautiful one right there, and we are craning it over the house because that is the only way to get it back there. So we're gonna show you this all off. I wanna do a whole video on pizza ovens right now. Hope you enjoy it. Talk to you soon. pizza oven. You see that there's a gap here. It's because it's installed on four bags of ice. It's the only way to do it. It actually lowers it into place nice and evenly. It also allows us to get the, the mechanisms that we craned it in um, out of there. So it's the only way to do it. It's four bags of ice. It's sitting on it right now. 3,500 pounds sitting on four bags. So we're going to shoot lots of other video on pizza ovens right now. We're going to do a photo shoot on this site itself. It's a beautiful site. So this pizza oven in particular is a Forno Bravo pizza oven. I'm going to show you all the specs of that off screen right now. And we can actually shoot some B-roll of this while we're showing that. But this is a Forno Bravo. This is a gas pizza oven. So you simply turn the mechanism right here and it fires up and we're good to go. And once it warms up, toss the pizzas in. You don't have to prep to have that prep time with a wood burning pizza oven. Although we also do tons of different wood burning pizza oven options. So here we have a little bit on how we built that pizza oven. This you have to get a good design, especially for the pizza oven or areas that need gas. See how we had to run the gas line right to the right point of the pizza oven here. So we stubbed it up, we prepped it for concrete. So we dug in, prepared the rebar, and we poured that concrete pad. 
Then we went ahead and framed the pizza oven surround using CMU block, very strong. And then on the top of that, we poured another concrete footing for the pizza oven itself to sit on. So very strong unit. Of course, after that, we just do the cultured stone on the side, make it look really good. So it's really important to get a design before you do the stuff. And look at the results, how beautiful it all turned out, how nice that pizza oven sits in with the, the rest of the landscape and how it just really fits in with the architecture, or the overall layout of the outdoor space. I want to talk to you a little bit about board formed concrete. It's a modern look, it's a very clean look, it's a clean aesthetic, it's a custom aesthetic. And here we are right now talking about this. Obviously this is a concrete fire pit, has a reflection wall of, for heat in the back, and th this does an incredible job of reflecting the heat right into the outdoor space. Here we are under a covered outdoor room right now, it does an incredible job of reflecting that heat and setting it back towards the space. But again, we're talking about board form concrete, so I'll shoot some B-roll of this, let you see this really close. So with the board form concrete, you can see the beauty of the concrete. We actually do show the wood grain in the finish of the concrete, so it's really pretty and very ultra modern. And here's the way we framed the fire pit. So you can see the rebar there. It's a lot of work, but really if you know how to frame for concrete, this is a very inexpensive way to do a concrete fire pit. And here's us after we poured the fire pit. So we have to let it cure. I would recommend letting it cure for two to three days prior to removing those forms. But really it's just concrete pour with a, a board, a wood board in front to give it the texture of a, of a wood uh, surface. So it looks really nice. Again, it's a very clean, modern look, and I hope you enjoy this. I'm gonna shoot some B-roll of this and let you see not only this, but off screen, what we have behind us is the outdoor kitchen, which is all board form concrete as well. All right, guys, enjoy this. Now let's take a look at the outdoor kitchen that we frame, and you can see the intricacies of what we needed to do to make this all work. So obviously, making it board form concrete on the outside. We used again the siding for the impression of the wood. And then of course we just frame around that with plywood and two by fours, lots of rebar, getting those very strong, making sure that we're not going to lose our forms as we pour that concrete. Something to remember is concrete adds a lot of vertical weight. So you wanna make sure your forms are very strong together so you're not gonna have any bubbling of that concrete when you do pour. I would definitely recommend hiring a contractor to do this. It could be a DIY project, but this might be something for an experienced contractor to help you out with. And I love the finish. I love the way it all turned out. It's just such a beautiful aesthetic at the end and it really matches the architecture of the home. It's a very modern, clean look but it's also understated where it's not too glamorous. It just kind of, it's a nice matte finish, gives you that ultra modern, clean aesthetic. Okay, now for one of my favorite features of all outdoor living spaces is the covered space. It is the main destination. This is what's gonna pull you outside and keep you outside in all weather, no matter if it's sunny or if it's rainy if it's snowing you would still be out here under the covered structure in those moments but look at what we did here it's a beautiful little hip ridge covered structure so here's us building the structure take note that we put it on the back side of the property so we we basically with good design again i'll always encourage good design we maximized it all the way to the property border so basically the setback of the property we put it right on that setback line and that really did maximize the space but it really does make the space seem a lot larger look at the distance there from the door to the structure and you can see that now we have a whole covered space but in front of that we could easily do a dining table or a whole sitting area 
so it does really make the space seem larger and serving as a destination that will just pull you out from inside the house to the outside. And we did a lot in that space. We did the heaters, three heaters, we did the speakers, lots of light, and then you have that fire pit that reflects all that heat from that. So really it's gonna keep you very warm in those winter months. And all of a sudden you really do have that multiple space destination room where you can really entertain a lot of people in even this small space. So when you're considering a freestanding structure, take note of this structure as really maximizing the space even in a small area. A very popular thing to do right now is have Sonos speakers for your inside of your house. And that could be for everything from your TV to your just room surround sound. What is interesting is that they're now able to do architectural speakers that connect to the Sonos system. And that's for the outdoor use. So we have those mounted right here. And I will show you that right there. I'll shoot some B-roll so you can see it. Uh, uh, you know more clearly, but they work wonderfully for the outdoor area. They work wonderfully for all weather, the heat and the, the rain, and even in the winter time. So I'm going to talk to you more about these, show you all the details, and let you see some B-roll of this right now. So really, there's so much flexibility with the Sonos speaker. You can either have indoor speakers that you move outside during a nice evening. I've even watched outdoor movies with my Sonos speakers from the indoors and I just moved them outside, connected it to my projector and had a wonderful outdoor movie night with my Sonos speakers. A lot of people are even doing Sonos sound bars outdoors for their outdoor TV. Now there are some waterproofing kits that you can get for these Sonos sound bars, but I've just personally done mine outside and I'm just gonna bring it in during the winter time. And it seems to be doing very well, pretty much all weather, except the dead of winter. So really strongly consider Sonos. They do a great job of connecting your rooms on the inside. And I just love the ability that you have now to connect the outdoor speakers to your indoor speakers. So no matter where you're at, whether you're inside and you walk outdoors, it's all the same music playing. One of my personal favorite parts of this project is the small garden area that we did off to the side of the property. Look at how cute it is. We did a little trellis on top, an arbor. So we're gonna have some vines that grow up that to give additional privacy because it's hard to see, but there's windows looking right down into the space. So that little privacy screen really does help a lot. But look at what we went through to build this garden bed. Now this garden bed here was built with a footing. We didn't want to allow it to sink over time. This was a very wet backyard. And while we did do a lot of drainage work, we didn't want to have that garden bed sink. So we put a footing in and then we built the garden beds to last. And then we did a nice little bench in the middle, a little sitting area there with the table and chairs little gravel patio. And look at that beautiful little destination garden spot that that offers. You can imagine kids playing in the grass there with mom and dad working in the garden bed. Just a nice peaceful setting, another little therapy destination in the landscape. So starting right from the design, you see what we had to deal with with this job site. The, the house itself was a very ultra clean modern home. We wanted to tie in elements of that into the backyard space and to give the homeowners an amazing custom outdoor space that you don't see every day. And I think we did that. I hope you liked it. Please let us know if there's anything you would like us to see or do. We want to show you information. We want to give you information and we want to get you outside enjoying your outdoor space. All right, guys, enjoy. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you soon.